Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can place one image inside of multiple frames in InDesign. So oddly enough, I'm going to start inside of Adobe Illustrator, mainly because I have something here which is a little bit more complex than your average box or circle and things like that. Here, this is composed of several shapes, my lion's head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste this into InDesign, which you, know, you can do. Um, so if I jump across now, having copied that over to InDesign uh, here on my page, then again, if I go to edit and then choose paste, it pastes that onto the middle of the page. Thing to note here is that if you copy and paste multiple shapes at the same time from Illustrator to InDesign, it will group them together. In order for this technique to work, you'd have to go to the object menu and ungroup it. But just to show you, we are heading to paths and we would need to choose compound path and that's grayed out because it's grouped. So back up here and I'll choose ungroup, then go up to file and choose place and pick an image like this and then click on open. It loads into the cursor and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't place this inside of one of the objects because InDesign doesn't know which one you want to place it in because it sees these as all the separate objects. Even if I hover over one of them and left click, it only places part of that photograph inside of one of those objects. I'm going to go back and press command Z, hit the escape key on the keyboard with all of them selected. I can now go to object, go down to paths and choose make compound path, which essentially tells InDesign to treat this as one shape. Click on that. Now I can use the keyboard shortcut of command and D control D and a PC, go back to my folder of images, click on sunset, choose open, and it just drops that straight inside of my compound path inside of there. Again, same things you've got here. You can go up to the top and you can choose fill frame proportionally to scale this down in size. If you wish, you can still hover your cursor over double left click on there and you can drag and move that photograph around in there to reposition. Um, and you can even use the cursor keys as well. I'm just getting the, the tops of the mountains in there, which is obviously very dark because this is a sunset. It doesn't really work in this case. I need some bright colors in there to, uh, evoke the sense of an African sunset. And you'll notice here now that um, my original shapes had white as a, as a background color. You might notice a slight halo around here. It shouldn't be a problem, but I would suggest that you go up to the fill menu and then you just remove the fill from that object and set it to none. You know, you don't want any of that background color showing through around the edges anywhere. It's, you know, it's not that it should do, but it's just worth eliminating that potential problem. So if I go to the next page, I can show you with just regular stuff inside of InDesign here, just regular circles drawn out here on screen. Again, if I select them all, go up to the same option, object, path, make compound path. Then again, I can press command and D control D and then I can pick another image in here. So if I choose um, stars and then choose open, puts the image in there. And again, I will go up to the top and I'll choose fill frame proportionally just to make sure I've got all of that fitting inside of there. Again, I can hover over one of those shapes, double left click. That will select the photograph. And then if I need to, I can move that around. As it happens, the ratio of where these circles are exactly the same ratio as the photograph. So if I was to move it, then the chances are, and then going to not see photograph in the background in there. So I'm just going to put that back and center that back in there like so. so other examples of this um, here, I've got another one here uh, kind of <laughs> the tree there kind of makes it look like we've got kind of a kind of a hairy beard type thing going on in there. So if you're lucky, you know, you might get something that works with the aesthetic of your shape in there. You may, of course, disagree. Um, and then another one inside of it, just to show you that, you know, putting an image of a line in the lion's head artwork in there, it just doesn't really work. Um, not least because there are two sets of eyes and it's very, very off putting. So, um, yeah, that, my suggestion would be if it's something like this, stick to something a little bit more subliminal, a little bit more subtle. Um, that is just a little bit too much, but that essentially is how you can put one photograph inside of multiple frames inside of InDesign. Thanks for watching folks. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a good old thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber and you want to create great looking artwork, save oodles of time, then uh, you can subscribe to the channel, click on the bell. So you get notification every time we post here, which is every Friday. And with that, farewell folks.